So with regards to the Dominican Republic trip for our baseball team, I encouraged our baseball coach, who's a great teacher in the first place, to, to do something really special. And he came back to me with, hey, I'd like to play some baseball down there, but what I really want to do is teach our kids through a service learning project. So they went to orphanages, they fed communities, they held baseball clinics in really impoverished areas, and they just came back, I think, with their eyes a little bit wider about the real world. And uh, I think Mike certainly, my baseball coach, certainly uh, achieved his goals. You know, we, we looked at, a, at, at tournaments and, and other ways that we could have a, a, a travel experience with these guys. Um, but at the end of the day, we decided we wanted an experience that was unique, uh, that had baseball as an, as an element of it, but not necessarily the, the dominant element. Uh, and what we wanted was an opportunity to do service. Uh, and we found a, a, a chance down in the Dominican Republic to um, you know, work with an organization that was about service first and, and, and had baseball as part of that. Um, you know, my, my favorite experience was, was getting to do work in this out of the way, very poor uh, village that was dependent on sugar cane production. And um, they invited us to come back later in the week and play their local team. And, you know, it, 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 watching the, our guys um, who are used to playing on field turf uh, show up at this cow pasture with, you know, chunks of foam as bases um, and, uh, and, and, and play these guys who they didn't necessarily speak the same language, they didn't necessarily share a lot of, you know, same cultural traditions and certainly socioeconomically there was a big gap. Um, but they all, they all spoke the language of baseball and they could all um, make these connections around playing this game. Uh, and, and afterwards, we, we, we stay around and, and, and hang out and, and, and talk to those guys. Um, and, you know, watching my guys um, really make these connections with, with, with people from a very different place as people, right, through the game was, was why we were there. Uh, you know, and when we finally got them back on the bus, um, you know, a lot of them had, had you know, given away their, their, their bats, their spikes, their shirts off their back to... Um, these guys who just didn't have a whole lot were very talented players, but just didn't have the the, the financial infrastructure my kids had. Um, that's my favorite experience that I've had as a coach. Mm -hmm.